It's about winning. It's about the big days. I just love the training of it, how it all works, you know, the selling, the phone calls, just just every bit of it is interests me. And But then, don't get me wrong, I still want to be at the Kerr on Derby Day and in with a chance. David draws his confidence from the fact that he has beaten some of the biggest names in horse racing once before. In 2011, his horse, Lolly for Dolly, won a major race at Royal Ascot. David's wife, the writer Cecilia Hearn, was there to share the excitement. It was my first day out, so I wasn't expecting anything. All of a sudden, she won. And it was the most incredible day. Then hats were flying, people were flying, everybody was flying around the place. David bought Lolly for Dolly for 60,000 euro. Immediately after winning at Royal Ascot, he sold her for 750,000. Including prize money, he cleared nearly 1 million euro. Now, using his profit, he wants to try to do it all over again. In November 2011, David buys six horses at auction. The world of horse racing is here. The Agar Khan, John Magner, JP McManus, right up to guys who are paying five grand for it. Because the best horses in the world are here. He goes for the very best pedigrees he can afford two colts and four fillies. Among their parents are the greatest champions of the last few years, Monju, Nayef, Dark Angel, and Henry the Navigator. Altogether, he spends 400,000 euro. Stable fees over the next two years will cost at least another 100,000. It is important that people like David and his generation come into the game. A lot of ups and downs, a lot of good days and a lot of bad days. And in the horse business, we always say, enjoy the good days because they're, they're, not, they're not that many. Buying as many as I did and spending so much was a big risk. The cheapest being 45,000 to the most expensive being 120,000 sterling. Lo and behold, the one that cost 45 could, could could easily, may end up easily beating the, the one that cost 110,000. I'd love for one of those horses to be a, a group one contender. I'd like all, all of them to be group one contenders. It takes an incredible amount of luck. You know, there's a million things that have to go right for you and only one thing could go wrong and your luck is out.